The configurable version of GraphPad allows users to create and edit forms. And to demonstrate that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take an existing form and just make a modification. And if I open the settings, I'll notice that I actually made an error when I created this form originally. And I set it to a paper width of 800 pixels. And it really should have been 850 pixels. So I'll just change that here and type in 50. And what I'll notice is, is that the grid now extends 50 pixels beyond where it was before. And so nothing's lined up the way it should be. So to correct that, what I'm going to do is I need to change all of the um, template elements to be editable. And I go to text mode, settings, and edit form. So now all I have to do is move these items over to the side 50 pixels. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the, the items I want to move. Um, the scale sets it at 10 feet for every 100 pixels. So if I want to move it 50 pixels over, I'll just translate 5 feet over, pick the direction, and then offset. And now everything's lined up with the edge of the paper the way it should be. One field was missed, however, and that's this field at the bottom. So I'll go and grab that, and I'll translate as, that as well. And so now everything's lined up the way we want it to be. Now, in addition to saving all the text and lines and images that we've added to our form, uh, when we create a template, we also save the position. And so now if I go to, I want to position this the way I want it to open. And now if I say save template and just add the value of new, I've now created a new template that has the changes that I wanted. So now if I go in and I just say open new, go into text mode, it now works exactly the way the drawing worksheet worked before. And that's all I'm going to present um, in this first uh, video on editing templates.